Hello everybody and welcome back to the save file once again we are jumping in again and I want to do some challenges and by that I mean that I'm going to try and do Dad's Home Plus because this thing is terrible and fun and awful and the best and the worst challenge to ever exist. Um, yeah, this this is going to be some real torture. It's going to be some real torture. Um, as for the question of the day, what is a stereotype? that you definitely support as in like what is a bad stereotype that you are definitely sort of <laughs> like a part of accidentally supporting i don't know the best way to word it but for me it's definitely like the whole youtuber being an it nerd one <laughs> that's like i feel like it's a fairly common sort of stereotype of um people in it uh, people on YouTube, sorry, and I definitely back that up. Oh, God. I kind of immediately forgot what Dad's Zone Plus is, but if any of you don't know what this is, every enemy from every room is in every future room. Um, it's going to be terrible. We're probably going to have to do some restarts. I took this one because the map looks pretty decent, and um, honestly, um, the Ouija Worm, Ouija Worm, Ouija Board... Uh, item is not that bad and also these little flies aren't really all that bad when um they aren't really all that bad when we don't have an active so but yeah things are about to get like a whole lot worse very very quickly so we'll, we'll see how this goes um any enemy that chases us down are the, are the really really problematic ones uh, as you can see those little flies caused a lot of issues for us there this guy's not great either but it's really gonna be it's really gonna be quite a tricky one but it's fun rooms like this are where things really start to get a bit out of hand um you just kind of have to hope and pray for the best this is this is one that we're probably gonna lose here uh really the way to beat dad's home plus is get very lucky with your rooms and get fairly lucky with your first item room basically we kind of have to restart if we don't get an item in the first room like an, an adjacent treasure room that is. Also, I'm eating more licorice. Uh, by the way, some people commented that apparently eating too much licorice is pretty bad for you. I did my research. I'm fine. You have to eat a lot for it to be bad for you. Like a lot and a lot. Um, Hold up a throwable projectile. Press the fighting direction to throw it. Maybe? Okay, maybe good. Oh, we got a big pot. We got a big pot. Don't get killed by that. We need a lot more bombs for that big pot to be any good to us, but we got a big pot. Okay, so far this was a very, very good one. I know I'm going to have to kill some more enemies, but I think I'm going to go to my secret room here. Because I'm not going to get enough bombs for the big pot, am I? Um, was this bad? I think this was terrible. Okay, didn't think the spike blocks would come with us. That's definitely very problematic. I didn't realize the spike blocks would be something that carries over like this. So yeah, that's uh, that's really not great. Don't like that at all. Yeah. Okay. This no, this this one's over. <laughs> That one is over. There's no way I can do that with the spike blocks. But we will push forward and see what we can do. I'm um, really, really just... This challenge is just a lot of fun. It's really wacky. It's weird. Little Horn is honestly kind of great. Fear is really good. Being able to damage stuff in the room. Not bad at all. A few extra flies ain't a problem. I'm realizing now that I'm firing at a wall. Yeah, this is decent. This is not bad. The fear especially is real good. Being able to keep enemies away from us and off our back. Seems excellent here. This is a very crazy room. Another giga pot. Another really big pot there. Um, really interesting to see those a few times. Because they're pretty darn rare. So it's interesting to see those more than once. Unfortunately, not get anything super helpful here. Of course, bombs are going to be the real thing that's good. Oh, shit. This is a... 
hell of a room. Okay, this, I think we're probably dead here. The amount, the sheer amount of spiders that spawn in this room is probably going to mean that we can't do much. I can't, I, the thing is, I can't even go back for the HP as well because all these enemies will spawn in all the future runes. I think this one's probably over, but we'll, we'll, we'll try the boss at least. First time giving the boss a good, a good go. Why not? And we got an extra bomb as well. Yeah, <laughs> this is over. I don't know why that room had that many spiders in it, but it did. <laughs> that one room had like a billion spiders in it. The thing is, between Volio rooms, you can just get unlucky sometimes. Like, really unlucky. And uh, get kind of mega shafted. I apologize if me chewing licorice is a bit horrible for you, but I needed something to de-stress me for this potential stressful encounter. But I also... I really wanted to play this today. I don't know why. XL floor probably would have, been a, would have been a good idea, you know. That was actually a really good XL floor. I should not have backed out of that one. Because in XL floor, you beat both the bosses, you win the challenge. Now, I realise holding R is a bit of a cowardly way to play this. But I feel like it's kind of, necess like kind of a necessity. Just because of... Um, how bad it is having to backtrack for items. Again, that was a good XL floor. I should have stuck with that one. My bad. I need to take more time to look around rather than just looking for the item room. Wait until the map actually loads. See how valuable the information we get is. I'm not very good at assessing information. Okay. Also, preferably we need it to be a basement. If you get the cellar, you're kind of burned. Just too many spiders. Burning basement also isn't great, but it's better. That's not good enough. We need something that does damage on its own, or really enhances our damage. No backtracking for item room, sadly. But today, it's just kind of... Let's just have a little discussion. Let's just chill. Let's just vibe. How are you all doing? While firing, spawn spider eggs every 5.5 seconds, which spawn a blue spider on landing. Doesn't seem very good, but give it a go. Nope. That was a terrible, terrible room right there. Way too full of enemies. Large rooms have the potential to be amazing, but can also be huge traps. Because you got to remember that all the enemies from that large room are going to then be in a small room. But sometimes it just does not work. It doesn't compute. It isn't compatible. It really depends. This is fine. We'll give this a go. Model rocket is interesting. The fact that you guys drop creep isn't great. Model rocket does give us a bit more damage, I think. I think overall it's pretty good. It depends what the other two rooms are, I guess. Okay, this is fine. There's some... Unfortunately, that those rocks, all, all these little fire rocks, although they don't actually deal damage to us, I mean, they do deal damage if we walk into them, but although they're not enemies, they will stick with us throughout the rooms. That's something we're going to have to deal with. Oh, no. No, they don't. Okay, I thought they would. I am incorrect. Oh, God. Honestly, these, these guys are a little more problematic than I would have hoped for because of the creep. This guy, anything that spawns additional enemies is going to always be a big issue. And this guy is uh, doing just that. And I don't like it. This guy's actually a really big pain in the ass to hit with model rocket, I'll be honest. There you go, we've got two bombs as well. Okay. Decent, decent kill there. Gotta remember that the boss is gonna come with us on every subsequent room as well. Oh god, the fire. The amount of fire that these guys are leaving around is obscene. The extra two soul hearts there kind of saves our life here. But yeah, the fires that those guys are leaving behind are really bad. Spider, can you, yeah, there you go. get into a position where I can kill you? Thank you. I'm not quite sure why you gave me uh, soul heart stuff, but not going to complain. 
Uh, Cupid's Arrow is actually not bad if we get um, Curse of Darkness, but we're not going to get that, are we? Oh, God, I always forget it follows over to the starting room. I think this version of Gemini will always give us a soul heart on being killed, which is pretty decent. I think our biggest problem is these little shitheads generating fire. I, I, I don't think there's anything we can do against those guys, because they're just going to keep generating fires and getting get in our way, and we're going to constantly take damage to that. The good thing is they're dealing damage to other enemies in the room. The bad thing is they're going to constantly deal damage to me as well. And they're really hard to deal with. And this shithead keeps spawning stuff. Stop it. What the hell did you turn into here? Oh my god. Okay, Gemini's really not a good one to go for, is he? Gemini is, is, a, is a huge pain in the ass. Stop summoning fire. See, this is what I mean by burning basement being bad. You get such shithead enemies. Didn't get any soul hearts that time. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to re-roll on this one, I think. Darn tootin'. It happens to the best of us. God damn it. But we keep pushing on. We keep pushing on. This is not a good flaw. That turn plus is it's just one of those challenges that's such a meme, but it's like it's it's plausible. Like they made it a meme on purpose, of course, but it is plausible. Now this is an interesting idea. Cause summoning a lot of bombs. Not a terrible idea when dealing with a large amount of enemies, I'll be honest, so. It might have some merit. I mean, it being a three-room charge doesn't make it great. I think it's got some it's got some capabilities. I mean, there's already a pretty stacked room here. I don't like these ghosty guys. These ghost enemies piss me off at the best of times. Never mind. During all this bullshit. You can stop generating tons of these little shits. Oh my god, please. These, nah, can't deal with the seller. Those little jumpy fuckers, someone needs to make a mod to make them actually fun. Or the um, better enemies and foes mod needs to redesign the hell out of them and make them actually an enemy that's worth fighting and not worth killing myself over. Because goddamn, are they the absolute worst. We have a planetarium this floor, but no key, so it's unlikely to pay off. Yeah. Let's just keep pushing forward and see what we can do. Um, one second. Let's keep our going. Okay, no mapping is a big no-no for us. A big no-no. Yeah, I like episodes like this because it's like just casual chatting. Had a nice weekend. It was Mother's Day um, in the UK. I think it's Mother's Day at a different day in America and in some other countries. But it was... Mother's Day on Sunday, um, so my girlfriend's parents came down and we went out for some nice food um, and went exploring around the city and stuff, and it was it was pretty lovely. The Italian we went for was very, very nice. I got, um, I, I splurged. Um, I decided to go all out and I got lobster um, spaghetti, and oh my god, it was very, very good. Like, I wasn't expecting the sauce on it to be uh, what it was. Um, I knew it was going to be something sort of tomatoey, but it was more creamy than I expected. And it had like chilies in it. It had a bit of kick to it, which I feel like most people after reading the menu maybe wouldn't like, but I really enjoyed. Secretion. Now that is an item that could be incredibly good because it just lays so much creep down. You can like fill an entire room with creep and creep... It doesn't do a ton of damage, but like... Oh, don't take that. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but like, I think it could be really, really good. Now, are those secondary enemies going to spawn every time? They are, okay. I wasn't sure if, how they worked. That's good to know, though, because it means that they spawn, like, after the fact. We don't have to worry about it, potentially, for a little bit. But yeah, secretion here is pretty decent. Just always got to remember that they're going to spawn. 
I'm hoping I can get some health out of this. Did get petrified poop? It's not bad. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. We have been shafted very, very hard. These bosses, mixed with other enemies, virtually impossible. And they don't take creep damage. We have been very, very shafted here. Having to fight these every room ain't gonna happen, chief. We need, like, pin or something. Like, I can barely beat these at the best of time without getting hit. Never mind when there's a billion other enemies in the room. Fucking can't kill them, goddammit. I mean, this is good, but we're still absolutely fucking dead on this next room. Planetarium there. Oh, wait, what? Um, I'm not quite sure what happened there. But a lot of things seem to just die straight away. Uh, I still think we're dead because these guys like to shoot their bullshit at me and I can't dodge it very well. Yep. They uh, kind of telefrag me there. I I am the big sad. That is very depressing. But I guess it's just how it's gotta be. It's just how it's gotta be. Little Loki, no thanks. Can't you can't hold a candle. To something like um, Little Lamb or something. Little Lamb would be pretty good right now. It would be pretty sick. What the hell's this? Enemies have a chance to glow upon entering a room. Uh, looking at a glowing enemy passes the effect onto you, giving you a stat boost while under the effect. For a period of time, the glowing, enemy will, the glowing effect will jump from the player to a random enemy. That sounds interesting. I mean, the face it gives us is kind of strange. I mean, that's a pretty decent stat boost. Don't like how he hit me with that fire there. Okay, it doesn't seem to occur every room, which is slightly annoying. Honestly, nah, that item isn't good enough. Let's keep this going. Let's keep this train rolling. Keep this ball going. Remember on the first series where I did Dad Zone Plus in like fucking four minutes? It was incredible. It was like the shortest video I've ever uploaded, and everyone hated it, but I found it really funny. Everyone was like, hey, buddy. Hey, shitbird. Where's the rest of my fucking episode? And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I did manage to do Dad's Home Plus in a remarkable amount of time. I think it was my third or fourth run of Dad's Home Plus, and I got a, a win, which was pretty incredible. Now... Another few shit enemies to, to come across here, but item room is close, regardless of it being a small room, probably it's going to take a lot of damage because of the enemies that spawned in here. We'll give it a go. Uh, I don't know. That's like, it's like okay, but it's only really realistically going to give us like one or two soul hearts. Basically, ideal scenario is getting, like, Toxic Shock. That would be something that would really kick the spice up a notch. Because basically, we'd enter enter the room and, and either kill or severely hurt most enemies, which is always something I aspire to do. These fucking stupid, shit-ass spider bitches. I hate them. Fuck you. I will not. I will not quell my anger. When it comes to these absolute assholes, Mother Spine's pretty good, but we do need to use our bomb to get to it, which is annoying. Mother Spine does affect all the enemies in the room, though, so like it can, it has like piercing on its poison. I don't really know what you'd call it, but still, it's pretty good for that reason. Um, we can do a lot of damage to the entire room with it pretty quickly. Um, so I'm going to take my chances here. Bit of healing never hurt anyone. Is this a boss we're willing to fight multiple rooms on the go? Honestly, a mother spine is, is doing good stuff here. Mother spine is really good. Unfortunately, the kill on this guy is egregiously slow right now. So I'm not very happy about that. Like, it's so slow. 
How is this guy still alive? Come on now. He's halved his head now, which honestly doesn't improve our odds at all, because now he can do his little triple shot bullshit and walk through walls, but there you go. There's the triple shot. I'd like to get Mother Spine lined up a little more regularly with this guy, but it's proving to be quite difficult. Give us the best boss item you possibly can. Pretty good boss item, not gonna lie. Okay. Okay. So, enemy wise, we're actually fine. Mother Spine basically takes care of everything. Boss wise, things ain't so hot. We don't have a small item room this time. Our mini Isaacs here are proving to be pretty valuable, to be honest. Just don't triple shot me out of nowhere. Good, good. Okay. Oh, what the hell? That was a little... That was a little bit rude, if I do say so myself. Kind of spawned us into the room and immediately got us hit there. Also, not really enough room to move around in this one without getting hit by his own creep. Get out of the way, spider. Also, all of our mini Isaacs died. Really don't appreciate that. Yeah, the creep this guy is dropping is not, not good stuff. Come on. The mother's spine just isn't lining up with him. It's pissing me right off. I'm trying my best to get it to do some damage. And it just fucking won't line up. There you go. Dude, you can't just spawn an enemy on the door. It's rude as hell. Okay, I think this is over. Yeah, it is. It, it, it's over. Unfortunately, another boss that is almost entirely incompatible. Uh, just because it's... It lives too long, and it puts creep down. Don't like that. If you could give him that item room on the start, like, just a little bit more often, that would be absolutely delicious. The game's really screwing me over on this at the moment. I'd just, just like to see my item room a little bit more often, so I don't have to restart, and the restarts could just not be quite so long. That would also be nice. Okay, this one's not so bad. Reverse the trajectory of all enemy projectiles and transform them into friendly homing tears. Now that, that could be very interesting. Now, obviously, we don't have a projectile-based enemies yet, but I'm sure that they will come with time. Um, and we'll see how that goes for us. Ex these fucking flies. They move in like a really obvious pattern. My brain is so simple. It just can't fathom or understand the truth. Really? Really, boy? You're gonna give me the double trouble key drop? That's just kind of gross and offensive. So luckily so far, we've got zero enemies that fire tears. So the plan so far is really... I've really hit the ground running, haven't I? Yeah, this is dog shit. Let's go. <laughs> God damn it. I was like, oh, if we just get a few enemies that fire a lot of tears, like clotties... We can just spam our spacebar, get a load of damage off of it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't think that you can do that. That is just the foolish thing. Foolish? Foolest ish thing. Now, Lodestone. Lodestone really has some potential. It's not like amazing on its own, but it's got that ability to group enemies. Um, and, and segregate them, which I think is, uh, very important. Segregation is very important. Luck affected chance to fire a metal tier with the eye of the occult effect with increased range and double damage. That sounds amazing. Okay, those enemies aren't so bad right now. Not a big fan of all this. Stop it with the bloody head throwings.
We've not fired a single one of those Eye of the Occult tiers yet, but we'll get there. Okay, this is a bit of a horrible room. Oh god, I didn't see that guy throwing his little shithead face at me. Okay, this has not really been as fruitful as I would have hoped. It's pretty good, but this room just really has not been very good for us. Get out of here. Oh, that is music to my ears, the sound of that heart dropping. Okay, these bloody little flies are the worst. Also, these little bodies, equally bad. These little shitheads, equally bad. Just lodestone? Lodestone, please. Okay, the jumpy boys are also real bad because they don't—they they aren't affected by lodestone like at all. Stop jumping at me! This would be so much easier if you'd just leave me the fuck alone. Also, if my trinket would proc even once. I know it's a luck-based effect, but come on. Can't be that rude to me, can you? Oh god, this guy's gonna be a shithead every time. I mean, I, do you know what? Give me 99 bombs. That would be a good drop. Speedball is not good for us right now. I have a feeling that we die in this next room. Dude. The amount of headless chickens running around is fucking me off. Get them gone. Fuck you. <laughs> headless chicken little shitheads. Why? Why you gotta be this way? That 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 was such a, a, a potential of a run. And it just shoved its dick down my throat. That's what it did. Which some people might like. I understand that. In fact, at least half the population probably likes that to some degree. But still. Fill it up. Fill up that rock. Fill up that rock. Dude, get back in the circle, you little mung bean. Get back in there, you fucker. Sanguine Bond. That's going to be so good. What on earth? These guys are moving at the speed of sound. Could you not? And a light switch which generates money. Which is effectively useless for us. It gave us a world card? Can it do that? What the heck? Not that I need that, but thanks, I guess. Yeah, this is this is trash. <laughs> thanks for Sanguine Bond. That was so nice of you. Couldn't have given me something like flight or something good, you know? Nah. Didn't feel like it. Curse of Rebirth is a big no. Curse of Rebirth sounds just egregiously arse. Sounds like something I would live to regret and make me want to die. Come on, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Fire mind. Don't mind if I do. The explosions could be quite saucy. It could also hurt me like it just did there. The fire could be quite saucy. The health up could be quite saucy. Okay. This is good. The fire over time damage mixed with the explosions. Gotta say. Quite like it. All we need to do now is not get some just terrible runes.
Not a big fan of a few of the enemies we've got so far, but nothing's terrible. Nothing so painful that I want to kill myself. The bosses aren't bad either. H how did I not take damage until right then? That was crazy. Oh, those flies. Those flies are bad. Gonna need some help up here, game. You're gonna have to help me out. Goddamn, don't need to drop a Tropicana right now. Fuck's sake. Okay. Hoping using a bomb there does something to help me out early on. These red fellas are probably our biggest issue, dude. That was such a bad move by me. Okay, you do drop health each time, which is nice. Okay, no, this is... This has gotten a little bit impossible, hasn't it? Dude, wh why do you spew fire at me? Why? I didn't order fire. A full heart this time. Whoa, the Holy Trinity! Oh my goodness, that was insane. <laughs> what happened there? Whatever it was, I loved it. That was the best chest I've ever opened. Oh baby, a triple. This is somehow going better than I expected, although I feel like this room is about to make my, make my faith be a little more rocky. Oh dude, dude, just, just bomb everything apart from me, please. What are you firing at me, you shit? You really think that's healthy? Why am I still in this room? I could just leave. Oh, fuck me. No! It bombed me back into this room! Did you see this horse shit? No, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. What is this? You can't just place that many enemies on the door. Why? Oh, lord. That was evil. That, okay, fire mind. Fucks. Firemind has some real hot shit about it. I can get down with a Firemind. Okay, I can't get down with Cellar, with these these stupid, not Cellar, Burning Basement, these stupid ass enemies. It can't be done. That is a lot of rooms between me and the boss. Like I guess that would have to have been an absolutely outstanding item for me to want to go through that gauntlet of just hell. But Luckily, it was not a good item, so. I'll be taking my leave. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Those worms, can't do it. Can't do it. Those, those worms, even in rooms like that one with four enemies, my brain can't comprehend. Never mind. Never mind when there's like a thousand enemies in our room. I just... Little, little bulb in my brain would just turn off completely. Shut down. Say goodnight. Sign off for the day. I mean, it's already kind of does that anyways, but it'd be more so than usual, is what I'm saying. Prayer card. Again, it's nice, but there is literally no physical way possible that we'd ever actually keep them alive. And we only have to travel one floor anyway, so it wouldn't be very useful even if it did. That's also a lot of rooms there. Mm, maybe? This could be pretty good. Now, it does chain us to the enemy, which sounds legitimately awful. But we got a room without combat. But basically, we do this. Okay, these enemies aren't great, but luckily they jump around randomly, not towards us. That's good. Can I move you over into the direction of this? I can. Gotta love it. Okay, I will risk the pills. I found Wasn't that big of a risk, really. Mask of infamy. Okay, um, didn't really think about the fact that all these enemies would follow us here. That was my bad. The hanged man. 
Mask of Infamy sounds tickety boo. It's only oh for fuck's sake. It's only tier damage that it blocks, so it's not amazing. Dude, can you actually fuck off jumping on me? You dumpy ass bitch. I'm so sweary today, but this game. It's got me in that sort of mood, that sort of mindset. Just bad enemies, because they fucking move all the time. I, could, I was like, ooh, this electric thing will be so good. It'll be so cool, because it'll zap all the enemies. And they're like, no, no, no. No, no, no. What it'll be is, it'll be fucking stupid, because these enemies will jump all the time and ruin everything. All those plans you had. Remember all those plans you had? They are here to ruin all those plans. Also, this, this this machine didn't give me even close to what I ordered. Okay, and we're starting just out of principle. That creep was fucking gone, and you're telling me it still hit me. I don't think so, game. That is a crock of shit. <laughs> oh, God. I do not think so. This is one of the videos that's getting my channel, like, not demonetized, but, like, severely lowered down in the rankings. Because, apparently, being a sweary boy is big sad for YouTube Corporation. They do not like, but I don't give a damn. I am who I am. I will not change for any man. I don't really give a... I don't really understand why it matters when you label your content as not child-friendly anyways. I always label it as not child-friendly. Eh. So, it's like... Punish me for swearing in a video made for adults. Not adults, but you know what I mean. It's like, come on now. That seems a bit foolish. Now this, this could be the winning strategy. <laughs> I have to try this. It's so stupid, it just might work. Basically, the extra tears up makes me think there's a potential chance that this could be something worth having. Also, the rooms thus far have not had terrible enemies. It's the first one with bad enemies. Just because there's these spinny dudes that can be really problematic. They're not always bad, but they just they can cover the room in quite a lot of fire. I mean, this is good old burning basement, which we hate, so... It's kind of par for the course on this floor. Oh god, no. We're starting. Not even giving that guy a chance. One of the worst bosses on the first floor. Normally. Never mind when I've got to fight this many enemies. Peeper's Eye, come on, game. You haven't really given me a single, like, really shit hot item yet. I think Lodestone was the best thing we've had. Game's got to give me some generosity soon. It's been 38 minutes. I want to make Dad proud, come on. Papilla Duplex? Papula Duplex Ek. I didn't realise what Papula Duplex was for like the longest time, but it's actually just an eyeball with two pupils. Like that's what it is in real life. And that's what it that's what the sprite is in the game. And I, I did not realise that. It's pretty cool. Pop is Pop's one of those ones that sounds like it could be really good, but the, at the same time, all of our tiers are just hitting directly anyway, so having them linger is not really going to make any difference whatsoever. Not a bad room. Honestly, I'm, I'm kind of sick of these jumpy fuckers, though. Like, they really get on my ass, quite literally. They jump right on it. I'd, I'd like it if they didn't. Oh, God, yeah. Just a just a room that we can't... can't can't possibly proceed through without taking damage. And an item that isn't particularly worth it either, sir. This could be an absolute travesty and I am willing to see it go down. Oh, no. <clears throat> I was willing to see it go down until I saw those guys. Any any room that has, like, more than, like, three enemies in it, it's just an instant write-off. It has to be something, like, really easy. To make me want to go for it, because yeah, you're just you're just setting a really bad precedent for yourself if you set yourself up with that many enemies right off the get go. 
I'm just a little annoyed about how, like, few item rooms we're getting off the bat. Like, needs to, needs to uptick on the item rooms that are close to us. See so Anarchist Cookbook again? I, I still think it's worth a shot. Now, this is a potentially quite bad room. Yeah, already, already whiffed it. Can't be taking that much damage on the first room. This Dad's Home Plus is a bit of a start-a-thon. There's not much that can see this through. Okay, I basically got to check some of the big rooms because there's quite a lot of L-shaped and large rooms that have no combat or have very few enemies. I've got to check them just in case that's the case because it's like so much extra space saved. I mean, obviously, there's also the, the chance of just not going for your item room, but I feel like that's such a foolish gambit that might work out, but most times just won't. Ugh, that's pretty bad. I'm going to try this out because the extra damage does sound good, but having knockback sounds pretty awful. The extra damage could be a really, really good thing, especially if we get extra damage from our boss item as well, like we get a pentagram or something. Okay, it actually brings the little pot dudes with us too, apparently. Okay. So far, this isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Our tier seems to have higher knockback as well, which is nice. Don't like the, the creep generating fools. I think kind of a hard time with the clotty, just getting to him mainly. Got that health back, lovely. Duke of Flies isn't terrible. The fly ring here is not great though, yeah. The knockback is pretty bad here. Yeah, the Clotty is definitely the biggest issue in the room, I think. See, more damage up. More damage up. That's, that's always a big issue when you just spawn in and immediately take damage. The, no the knockback is so bad, though. <laughs> Holy shit. The knockback is so bad. It is egregious. Right, what we got going on here? That's actually maybe pretty good. This little fucker could get to a point where I can kill you, goddammit. Okay, this guy can actually steal my charge now. He's a sli slightly more threatening. Don't ask me why I decided to fight this guy. Something in my brain said it was a good idea. My brain is often incorrect. Because, yeah, I was just about to say I probably have to fight him every time. Although, he will give me a pill every time now. Which is kind of interesting. Get off me, you sucky fucky. For some reason I went back in here and I really couldn't tell you why. I suppose I could just farm this guy for good pills. Range down. Got a pretty fly now. Does hitting this guy against walls with the concussion do more damage? I don't know if it does. It seems to do a bit more, yeah. Speed down. Okay. Farming pills, maybe not the best idea right now. Get away from me, suck boy. Oh, dude. My, my concussion wasn't ready. I thought it was. Telepills away from me. 
a virus. I need that to be a full health pill real bad. I'd also need a bomb right now. I, it just fake deathed me. Okay, we're, we're, we're burned. Concussion, concussion, could you like just recharge a little bit faster, please? That was horrible. I was like sat there like spamming Q like, fucking use it, use it. And I just wouldn't use it. Really? Piggy bank? Come on now. But yeah, mini bosses are actually not a bad shout. Like, getting gluttony in a room is not like a bad idea. Just to get more HP. Yeah, yeah too many enemies. Too, too many, too many enemy. Three dollar bill? Really, really good. Has some potential. Again, shithead fly doing his thing, being a shithead. Not gonna be real fun every room. Ooh, ooh! Now getting um, getting whiz shot plus this room with these enemies. Don't exactly like that. Muller boom is like not bad though. Muller Boom can kill other things for me. This time, however, he decided to stay far away from the pack. Don't like the goddamn little tail shooty boys. They really fuck me off, actually. What, what do you do? Okay, you're just a, a, a bomb throwing guy. You did find a secret room for me, though, which is a risk, but I'm gonna gamble. Okay, gamble maybe went well. I'm not going to say yes or no to that yet because I could still die. Stop firing your tails, you little shitheads. You have no right. You have no authority. Now, a double rotten heart is appealing. But I don't think I should. Um, can $3 bill give me something good, please? What, what, what have I got right now? It seemed like a whole lot of nothing. These goddamn chasey fellas. You're gonna suck... Who are you gonna suck the charge from? You seem all hyped up about nothing. What's going on here? This guy spawns bombs, so he's sort of okay in my book. Because he's effectively going to always clear out everything for us. I don't like how difficult he's being right now, though. Big downfall of him. Oh, God. That is a really horrible bomb. Thank God I got away from it. That was a really bad placement of that. Was that an explosive shot? It was. Beautiful. Oh, I got another few on him. Oh, I teleported away. God damn it. Hey, he killed himself with his own bomb, though. And we got a HP up. Baby. Okay, we're going to take some damage right off the bat here, but we got a half soul heart to deal with that. This is... This has some, some tiny amounts of potential. Just because the boss can kill things for us, that's like a really big bonus. Excuse me, do you spawn a firebomb on me? Could you really not do that, please?
There's a hand in here still as well. Get, get away. Hand, get, hand, get gone. Oh my goodness. We're quite far away from the boss here, unfortunately, and we do have a big room, so... I'm gonna say this isn't gonna go well. Also, not paying attention, walking directly into some fire that did not move. Good way to lose some health. Very pro move. I can't... I can't get over just how much this fucker is moving! Just chill for a sec, please! Just chill! Just chill! I'm gonna go through here because I think I can skip some rooms this way. I'm not quite sure if that's true or not. Also, I can maybe open some of these chests, which are potentially pretty useful to open. I keep moving the explosions away from these chests and it's annoying me. Okay, I just got a bunch of burn orbitals and burn friends, which with explosions in the room aren't going to last long. Welcome to the burn zone, shitbird. Cleared up pretty quick here. Grab a soul heart. Grab a red heart. This is good. I've still got a lot of rooms to go, so it's not even close to over yet. The burn orbital certainly are nice. The healing that I got there was pretty lovely too. Don't like you spawning spiders for me. It's a bit rude. We've still got quite a number of rooms to go here, but I'm this is the most hurtful room we've had so far. I'm I'm not I'm not liking the telefrag bomb placement though. That is a little bit fucking rude. I just don't like how much this fucking boy moves. Just stay still for like two seconds, god. Luckily, the rooms, like, clears out of real enemies real fast. I'm just getting annoyed at this fucking dude spawning bombs on me. Like, calm it. Stop moving and stop spawning bombs under my bum hole. Also, it's kind of funny that this guy has turned to this champion because of the floor that we're on. He's just going to be this type every single time now. The other version was so much easier. Right. Get gone. Good that I walked into that guy straight away. Fortunately, this is a real bad room for us. Not much we could do in that one. Dude, you spawned more spiders on me? Why? Really any need. I kind of need to finish this room because uh, I need to get the kill on him so that I can get some health back. I also got a crawl space here, which I can't go in because it'll spawn all these enemies and it will murder me. I need to remember that. Yeah, he really needs to not telefrag me with a bomb right now because... We could get a full heart of health here and be in with a potential shot, which is a very low shot, but a potential shot of a victory royale here. And if, if not on this one, I'm going to get a few more goes. We're going to have to leave it for another episode, I think. That is not a full red heart. That is a half soul heart. That is AIDS. AIDS on a boat. Look at this bullshit. What do you want me to do, game? Fuck me. What do you want from me? That's ridiculous. Come on. Right, one more one more genuine attempt. That run was so promising. We made it to one room before the boss. But, sadly, it had to be the fire Loki, didn't it? Fire whatever his name is. 
I can't remember. Little Loki? Yeah. Well, no, not Little Loki. What the hell's his name? Little Horn. It had to be the fire version. If it was the normal version, he would have been way easier. But he was just dropping dropping hot bombs on us. Dealing contact damage all the time. Leaving fires behind. It's just too much, man. I wish Dead Zone Plus would just give you like a tiny bit of spawn protection as well. I realize it's a meme of a challenge. They don't, they're not, it's not meant to be possible, like to do easily. And it's, it's, it's meant to be a challenge that's overly difficult. But if it just gave you like a half a second of spawn protection, like when you walked between rooms, just to make sure you don't get immediately hit on walking into a room with no way to dodge it, it would be kind of nice. That's a very good item for this. Holy shit. Oh, it's also a very good room to start us off as well. Pinhead could potentially be really, really good. I'm still not going to say this is a, is a one run or anything, but this is a very good start because um, Pinhead, of course, allows us to attach enemies to each other, meaning we damage multiple enemies in one go, meaning we can basically attach the entire room together and hit the whole room in one go. And also it's piercing damage on top of that, so... All facets of this is very good right now. The little spiders are pissing me off a little bit. To be fair, you're pissing me off a little bit. Just move towards me, but not in a sporadic fashion. Okay, I've backed myself into a corner here. Oh, and there's just webs everywhere, too. Fuck, fuck you, game. That was such horse shit. Come on, there's webs everywhere. Like, stop it. Just, just stop it. There's webs everywhere. Fucking... Eh! I can't move fast enough to get out of the way because there's goddamn webs everywhere. Why is the webs everywhere? Stop putting webs everywhere, you fucking stupid shitheads with your goddamn webs. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. This was such a good run. Such a good item. And you shat all over my dreams with your stupid webs. Get them from with... You web-headed little fuck.